What's up guys, welcome to another Daily Grey, the real life of a dog trainer. So, I've got half day clients in today, which means I'll be busy, which means I'll probably forget to film a lot, but I will try and film as much as I can. Um, the reason I don't film my sessions very often, oh really, oh, I film bits and bats. A, I forget, B, I'm too busy training the dog, and C, dog training's just the same shit every time. Like, If I film today's session, what would I film tomorrow? If I film tomorrow, what would I film the day after? It's usually the same thing, the same problem. Um, I'll try and film a bit if I remember. I do like to film it because clients like to look back. But, I'm there to train the dog. I'm not there to make vlogs. So, with that said, how much charge have you got? Enough. I'm gonna make a coffee. Flat bar's gonna go out. Jack's coming in. Jack in. Keep going in. Flat bar out. Hey! They're resting. Flat, you've missed a step in our morning routine. Hey! Get out. Get out. Get out. Thank you. Flat's trying to skip steps. He's trying to uh, start wrestling before he. Basically, the routine is he goes and pees and poos, then he comes in and has a wrestle. That's the rules. That's the rules, how they will remain. Right, I need to make coffee. Right, I didn't get any of that filmed. I don't know if you can see, but I am drenched. And the reason I didn't get any of that filmed was um, because it was absolutely ticking it down. Now, I broke my tripod the other day, so I wonder if you will just sit there like that. You will, beautiful. Police is on the treadmill, and I just want to talk about a topic, and that topic is um, no grey areas. Uh, so I'll leave you to see Khaleesi. People enjoy watching Khaleesi when I'm on the treadmill. I don't know why, but I get a lot of feedback about people enjoying that. Can I get over here as well? So, no grey areas in dog training. Good girl. You need to, I can't, I can't say it like that. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to not watch Khaleesi run on the treadmill today. What are you doing? But she is there. Come on phone, be good to me. Be good to me. I've got a feeling at some point in the near future, you're gonna watch this phone. Oh God, I'm drenched. I couldn't film anything, guys, because it was just absolutely fucking lashing it down through 90% of that session. It's grim out there. It's the first bad training session, weather-wise, we've had in a long time. So, grey areas in dog training is what I want to talk about today. Um, and the reason I want to talk about it is because of this puppy right here, who we've just had in, called Honey. Um, <laughs> I really hope there's a picture there, because as of right now, I don't have a picture of her. But I'm hoping I'm going to get one off her owners. Um... Basically, the whole problem was she was performing puppy behaviours, and that's life, and it's part of it. Um, the reason they were struggling to extinguish them, they've been to another trainer nearby that I get a lot of referrals from, which is a shame. Um, I'm all up for good trainers. I want to see more good trainers in this world. He is unfortunately not one of them. I get tons of referrals from him. And they basically said to them, stand on her lead while her head's um, on the floor. Force free trainer, by the way. Stand on her lead. Um, and wait for it to stop. Clearly that didn't work. And the reason they were struggling was because of this communication issue. So the black and... You're running on the treadmill. How have you still got excess drive? This is ridiculous. Ridiculous animal. So it's this black and white communication between what I want you to do and your choice to do it. So as an example, the dog today had problems with biting just puppy biting, you know, no no tenacity, no issues with it. But it was extreme, you know, it is drawing considerable amounts of, she is drawing considerable amounts of blood and things. It's becoming a headache. Um, that was the issue that they were having. So the deal was, oh, another issue. I got Flack out and the puppy's barking at Flack, so he wants to play. Cool. We're going to use that as the example because it's easier. Flack has a similar issue because he's very, very, very dog friendly and very, very not human friendly. Um, so we were both dealing with that at the same time. 
And this is why trainers have better dogs nine times out of ten. We get a chance to deal with our problems whilst training you with your problems. So my job allows me to fix my own dog's problems. So the dog was barking at flap when it came out. The deal was, if you bark at the other dog, a correction is administered. If you don't and pay attention to me, I'll reward you. So it becomes this choice. Do you want to bark at the other dog or do you want to pay attention to me? Now, obviously, in the beginning, the dog is pre-programmed to want to bark at the other dog because it wants to go and play because that's what's been rewarding to it in the past. And over time, that becomes less enjoyable because that's what brings correction. So me barking at, why are you off that treadmill? Get back on. Barking at the other dog brings, brings correction, which makes it less appealing. So the initial behavior becomes diminishingly enjoyable. And the new behavior, pay attention and listen to me, becomes more enjoyable. I was doing exactly the same thing with Flash. Bark at the puppy, I'll correct you. Don't bark at the puppy and stay with me in heel position. And I mean real heel position because he's a four-year-old dog, he knows this shit. Cool, reward, 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 play, 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 happy, 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 all the good stuff comes. Um, so you need to be that black and white. This is the result of this behavior. This is the result of this behavior. If you nail that, you're gonna be about there. I now need to do ridiculous, I propped this up somehow the other day, didn't I? Come on, that'll do. I now need to do a ridiculous amount of catching up with computer work. Password. My password isn't password, obviously. Membership for someone has been cancelled. Goodbye, member. Um, BC78. How weird. Yeah, so I need to do a massive catch up of computer work now. Because usually I get up and do that first thing. And um, today I had clients in. So, hey, home. Is what it is, right? So I'm going to get on with this. Probably catch up with you a bit later on. But yeah, if you don't understand what I've said in this video, please reach out and ask about it. Because it's really, really, really very important. Um, it'll give you a hell of a much better result in your training. So let me go and get on with some pumpy water. Back on the road, back out, in this fucking horrendous weather. It's so grim. And for once, I actually get to spend some time in my car and not in my van. It's lovely. I've got a really nice car and I don't get to spend any time in it. It sucks. So, I am heading to Pets at Home. As usual, it's like the one of the three places in the world that I actually go to for dog food obviously having a 40 plus kilo rottweiler a 30 oh really a 30 plus kilo shepherd uh, sorry a 30 plus kilo ground come on guys everybody's being an idiot everybody's being slow because i've come out at 25 to 6 which is the worst idea in the world yeah 40 kilo rotty 30 kilo shepherd. No. Fucking hell, Jay. Get a grip. 40 kilo rotty. 30 kilo ground. 20 kilo shepherd. 5 kilo shih tzu. We go through food at a fair rate of knots. As you can probably well imagine. The Rottweiler probably eats half of it. <laughs> so yeah, head in there. Nothing exciting. Um, cannot remember what I was going to say. Nope, it's gone. Old age is catching up with me. Hallelujah, no traffic. However, the traffic back, back looks horrendous. Ah, uh, why did I come out at this time? What a stupid idea, Jay. What is wrong with you? Hey ho, live and learn. Live and learn. So yeah, I'm gonna go over there, get this food bought. Buy a few bagfuls. Um, definitely have something to say and I definitely can't think what it is. So, um, 
I'm gonna get on with this drive because I feel like the traffic going around this corner and all the way to Pets at Home after this is gonna be horrendous. So I may be here some time. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> 